Toronto Mayor John Tory is calling for a regulatory system to quell the surge of cannabis dispensaries in the city, while in the interim demanding that police crack down on the shops. It's not acceptable. Uh, I do accept the fact and endorse the fact we are changing the law, but I've said all the way along it has to be done in an orderly fashion. We can't just sit back and have nobody uh, take any action, and so we'll have to if somebody else doesn't. Tory said that starting May 19th, Toronto's licensing department will look into creating new rules for dispensaries, similar to those put in place in Vancouver and Victoria, BC, including licensing fees and limits on where shops can be located. In the meantime, the mayor is calling for a police crackdown on the more than 100 dispensaries. Still, even though the shops are federally illegal, police say they currently only investigate and close those that prompt complaints or pose a threat to public safety, like selling cannabis to minors. In Vancouver, where the shops are now regulated, only seven businesses have been issued permits, but 140 dispensaries were refused. Another 13 are awaiting review. Under the city's new rules, unlicensed stores are forced to pay $250 every day they remain open, with the possibility of further court action by the city, including a $10,000 fine or an order forcing closure. According to activist Jody Emery, the regulations cause more harm than good. She added that this is going to force thousands of people to lose their accessibility to medicine. It's going to cost thousands of people their jobs in dispensaries and related businesses. And landlords are going to have empty storefronts once again. Last month, the federal Liberals promised to introduce legislation to legalize cannabis in 2017. According to Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and MP Bill Blair, head of the Cannabis File, current pot laws will remain in effect until then.